In this video, we will go through the steps of installing a C-Max cartridge collector. Before we begin, here is a list of suggested tools and equipment you should have before starting an installation. It is recommended to watch this video completely before beginning the installation. Carefully cut into and begin removing the plastic shrink wrap from the pallet that has the structure materials on it. Be careful as to not scratch or damage the paint on the structure. Cut into the bands that secure the structure and if included the drum kit. Inside of the drum kit should be packages necessary for the installation. Open these packages and verify that they contain bolts, lifting lugs, rope caulk, pressure differential tubing, a control panel, and an Imperial Systems baseball cap. Next, remove the plastic shrink wrap from the C-Max cartridge collector. If weather conditions are poor, consider leaving the shrink wrap on the C-Max to further protect the filters inside. Included with the C-Max are an instruction manual, a general arrangement, and a support structure drawing. These will be useful to refer to as the installation progresses. Begin by standing the structure legs where they are to be installed. From here, start bolting the X braces to the legs. Keep in mind that there is an inside X brace and an outside X brace. See the support structure drawing for more details. The smaller set of X braces should be on the side of the legs where the material discharge handling system will be accessed. In this situation, the material discharge handling system is a drum kit. Begin attaching the lifting lugs to the hopper. The lugs should be centered and on both sides of the hopper. It is important to note that some hoppers are directional. Make sure that the bolt holes on the hopper line up with the holes on the C-Max. This determines what direction the C-Max will be facing. Using the lifting lugs attached to the hopper, Begin evenly rigging the hopper to a crane or forklift. Carefully lower the hopper onto the structure and begin bolting the hopper to the structure. Apply a line of rope caulk to the hopper on both the inside and outside of the bolt holes and remove the wax paper once finished. Evenly rig the C-Max to the crane at all available lifting positions on the C-Max. Carefully lift the C-Max and align it to the hopper. Bolt in the bottom of the C-Max to the hopper. Use an impact wrench to tighten all the bolts on the structure, and then anchor the foot pads of the structure legs to the ground. This completes the installation process of a C-Max cartridge collector. Please contact Imperial Systems if you have any questions about the installation of a C-Max, or if you'd want Imperial Systems to install it for you.